Something I do really like about Sammy and Atom, which frustrates the shit about me with Streamerbot. Probably, this is probably my biggest complaint about Streamerbot. In fact, this is my biggest complaint about Streamerbot. See, with Sammy, I... The way my mind works, and I think the way most people's minds work, is... Uh, I would want my program to have a central place for me to define things that can happen, okay? I always say this in videos, is, is because it's, it's the way that makes sense for me, and I know it makes sense for you guys, because when I explain it like this, you guys always tell me how like it helped how much it helps you out because it makes sense to you guys too right so what i want with any of these programs is i want a central place where shit happens okay in this case it's this window here this is where all this shit happens you can each of the little blocks the squares is just the thing that happens same thing with atom atom has a similar thing they have rules let's just open up atom They got a thing here. So each of these things is just a, oh, it's a thing that happens. Same thing with a uh, with streamer bot. They got a whole page of actions. Actions are just it's a thing that you can do. But then separate to that is once you have the thing that you can do, the next thing that is most logical in most people's minds is okay. I have a thing I want to do. How do I trigger it? How do I, how do I actually activate this thing that I made? Right. And so what I think Atom and Sammy do really well is it's just it's baked in to that big thing. It's, it's baked into that. Right. So here's the thing that creates a clip. How do I make how do I run this command that creates a clip? It's just in the triggers menu and I can add all of the triggers here. And if I'm thinking about my clip command, I can see every single way that I can trigger that clip command, which could be through a chat command. I could add more. I can add it like I can make it triggered by channel points. I can make it triggered by a hotkey. I can make it triggered by like, I don't know, whatever. So many different things, right? And uh, Atom is the same. I don't want this open. Atom is the same way. So you got all your different things here. This is my thing that I want to do. If I go in here and it has a triggers menu. These are all of the different ways I can trigger this thing here. Streamerbot doesn't work like that. And it's it's the one thing I hate about Streamerbot as much as I love the program. You have the thing here. And let's just say I have my, um, my nice cock redeem. So I got the thing. This is how it works. And this is what it can do. How do I trigger it? You would think that you could just edit it and maybe there would be like a triggers menu here that shows, allows you to add triggers to it, but it's not here. Where is it? It's fucking everywhere. Like it could be here. It could be in hotkeys. It could be in platforms in moderation. It could be in height train. It could be general. I have no fucking idea. <laughs> it, could, it could be anywhere. It could be in chat commands. It's just spread. All the triggers are spread out through the program. And then the other problem is um so what is it nice cock i know that this is from bits this is why i labeled it bits so i i know what it does uh if i go to bits uh cheers i know that it's here for 300 right but let's just say i have i don't know let's just say i wanted to trigger it from follows right and i have my nice cock in the follows thing what happens if i make another thing what happens if I make another thing that I want to also be triggered by follows? Because in Sammy, if I have two different things, but I want them both to be triggered by a follow event, it doesn't matter. I just put a trigger and I just add follow. Where is it? I add new follower, save. The same thing here. Here. Uh, new follower, done. Like they're all their own separate thing. Um which is cool for two reasons. Number one, if I have like an action here in Streamerbot that's triggered by multiple things, there's been many times where I have an action here and I'm like, how do I, like, I want to like delete it, but I'm like, this thing is triggered by five different things and I don't remember which things it's triggered by. And there's no, I can't, there's no list here that says these are the triggers. 
So I have to go searching for them one by one. And I might miss one. It's just not listed anywhere. So that's the first reason why it's annoying. The second reason, and this is a big one, is in Sami, you can export. So if I export this JSON, I can give this, I don't, it just copies to a clipboard, but I can give th that thing that just copied, I can give you this guys right now. Like if I was to save it and give you this text, I know it's a big scary text, but if I, if I gave this to you guys, you guys can take the code, you can import it, right? Import from JSON. And not only will it import all your commands, but it's also going to import all of your triggers. So if I send you something and say like, hey, this is a thing that you should trigger from like a chat command or like hotkeys, you guys can import that and then all the triggers are already done. That's not how streamer bot works and it annoys me. It makes me really sad. <laughs> Cause like if I give you guys code in streamer bot, right? If you guys import it, you can only import the actions and the chat commands. But if I have other triggers like a hotkey trigger, that doesn't come in the import. If I want it triggered by follows, that doesn't come in the import. And of course you can go fix it yourself. Like yeah, import your code, then go one by one and fix all the triggers yourself. But then again, if there's something already in the slot that I want it to be triggered by, like you can't, you can't put it in. You have to use like nested actions, which makes it gives you more work to do. Like that's the biggest issue with streamer bot at the moment for me. And dark mode. Put some dark mode, please. <laughs> um, yeah. So, Nate, I love you. You've changed my life uh, sincerely. I, I would very sincerely hope that you change course on this decision for how you've laid out triggers in your program because I genuinely think this is the biggest problem with streamer bot. You know, I did a really good job explaining that, so I'm going to make that a clip and put it on YouTube uh, so that I don't have to keep explaining this over and over again. So the next time Nate's in here, I can just be like, Nate, here's a video of me complaining, and then now you're watching it now. Hello, Nate. Th thank you for watching this video, and everyone else that's watching this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Sub to the VODs channel and stuff. Okay, uh, bye.